Can you take any popular LLM and then make it a much better than this using certain improvements on top of it just during test time scaling? And that is exactly what News Research is trying to do. They've got a new endpoint that is called Forge Reasoning API. It's just an API at this point. The model is not going to be released because this is not a standalone model. Like O1 from OpenAI, this model is trying to leverage something during the inference time so that you can make this model give you more accurate answers, make it more reasonable, have search implemented just like Jan Likun usually says. With the combination of all these things, can you build a toolkit that can be the best ever version of the LLM in itself. That is the exploration that has led news research to come up with Forge Reasoning API. So in this video, we're going to discuss what is Forge, how Forge is improving the benchmarks and what kind of things are behind Forge. To start with, Forge is a new thing that uh, news research, the research organization behind models like Hermes, the very popular co-founder of news research is Technium. It's a, it's a person, I hope it's a person, a person who actually is quite popular with the fine tuning community since the earlier days. Now, Forge as an endpoint is available to, uh, for, a, for beta testers. And if you go see Forge, if you take the model Hermes 370 billion parameter model, without Forge, the model scores 33.33% on a benchmark called AIME. It's, uh, it's a heavy math, a heavy benchmark. And just combining the model with Forge, you just like literally take any model, combining the model with Forge, the 33% became 80%. And you, you would probably know why it is, because it's almost like you take a human being and then just give the human being a calculator to them. Now, will you calculate more? Will you calculate better? Of course, obviously you would do it. But that benchmark improvement is not only for AIME, but it translates across a lot of other benchmarks as well. I would love to see more benchmarks here, but what is happening behind this is you can take any existing model. Okay, so you can take GPT-4, you can take Gemini, you can take Sonnet 3.5, and then you can combine it with Forge. What does it mean? What does it even mean? It means that Forge offers a reasoning layer. So you have the model layer, you can take Hermes, Gemini, Sonnet 4, um, J OpenAI 4.0. And this model layer, on top of that, you stack the reasoning layer. What is the reasoning layer? Chain of code, Monte Carlo, tree search, MCTS, and then mixture of agents. So you have got uh, this, 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 the three things, along with code interpreter, which means it can run code. So if you generally ask 3 plus 3, it is not going to use from the LLM's uh, permanent knowledge and give you what is 3 plus 3. Rather, it is going to write a code, execute it during inference time, give you the output. Of course, it's going to do better on math. But the what I am personally interested in to see if it can improve models performance across benchmarks, which ideally should happen given that everybody is talking about the test time scaling. In fact, there was a very recent paper for Arc AGI, which is another competition that recently ended. Even in that paper, they discussed about how test time scaling, or test time inference scaling is what you need to improve LLMs to reason better, like generalize better. The same thing that they've done here. So they've got uh, three things here. So one is the MCTS, Monte Carlo Tree Search. So MT MCTS is a research area uh, that they have been using it for quite a while. It's uh, particularly useful for planning problems. This is one of the biggest complaints Jan Likun had about large language models is that, see, large language models are good, but they are not going to lead us to AGA because they cannot plan or they cannot search. That's where MCT has come to picture. The architecture iteratively builds a decision tree by selecting promising nodes based on an exploration exploitation balance, simulating random actions until a terminal state, then propagate back propagating the results to update the node values. The architecture operates through four phases, selection, which is identifying promising nodes for exploration, expansion, adding new decision nodes, simulation, testing random action sequences, back propagation, updating the node statistics based on the simulation result. It's a very popular method in computer science before. It's not uh, completely new, but this is something new for the LLM world. Like I said, MCTS has provided better results in ARC AGI. So this paper, this, this API wouldn't have uh, come at a better time. So this is a really good time for us to explore test time inference scaling. 
or a inference time scaling i don't know what do they call it these days but this is this is a really promising approach where you don't have to rely only at the training phase what you do with the model but you can couple the model with a bunch of other superpowers during the test time and you can scale it up as much as possible to make the model better so then you have got chain of code is a series of reasoning steps known as chain of thought but you connect it to a code interpreter this is a very similar type of solution that we discussed when we discussed the ai math olympiad amo and the solution that we discussed during that time uh, the creator of the solution actually created a multiple solutions used a code interpreter setup and then ran the code got the better output and then came back and then fixed it it's a very similar approach instead of using chain of thought you use chain of code have a code interpreter that actually runs the code executes the code and then reports back what is better and of course obviously this can improve math capability then you have got mixture of agents i think i have a mixture of agent implement video if i remember correctly so you, instead of uh, having one llm answering one thing you just have like a bunch of llms trying to answer this is a very popular method in the classical machine learning uh, especially with machine learnings where you have got a uh, ensemble models like xgboost random forest so you are building one decision tree you're going to build a bunch of decision tree and then combine them use some method like majority voting and then finally answer very similar like each model you use to solve a problem is seeing only a part of the picture enter mixture of agents we can allow many models to respond to a query confer with one another synthesize answers the consensus of llms judges the best answer resulting in a more complete diverse output that one model can provide alone moa can be used alongside other techniques by simply select more than one api or more than one model in the api so basically you have got, got a bunch of models you ask them to answer and then you finally combine it so how does it work let's take forge output and open ai's own preview output they are not saying that own preview actually uses something like this because they know that there is chain of thought in it they know that there is test time or inference time scaling there only thing that they do not know is whether it uses code interpreter or not because it does the thinking thing anyways okay role play as necromancer bargaining with eldrick god of knowledge i think this is reference to lord of the rings not very sure a god who craves few things he does not know present your bartering plan in the tone and style of the necromancer and god respectively so you have got oven preview output and you have got forge output this example is extremely good because until now everything that i said is i was like okay this is good for math this is good for calculation this is like a calculator but this output this example actually shows that this technique what what hermes or news research is trying to do with hermes forge is beyond what mathematical capabilities are and this is a very great example for that uh, if you want to use this then uh, you should sign up for their uh, beta api endpoint i'll link it in the youtube description this is not currently available for everybody i think they said due to the compute and other reasons so if you want to be part of the small set of researchers who can try out this new forge reasoning api you have to fill in the form in the youtube description that i'll share but otherwise i'm happy that this approach exists i mean i would love to take this endpoint and run it through rkg and then see how much it does but otherwise this is where things seem to go uh, i don't know whether you can implement planning within the llm training whether you can implement search within llm training so maybe test time uh, or inference time scaling is all we need so let's uh, let me know what you feel about this new approach like a completely new approach beyond post training everything happening after the training and uh, if this is what it is going to lead us to agi or advanced super intelligence see you on another video happy prompting